What's going on, everybody? Pop Principal here with another Funko Pop review. And today we have uh, Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse. Um, this is the first movie of the Miles Morales Spider-Verse movies. Uh, came back out in 2018. This is a really dope movie. Uh, some say it's one of the best Spider-Man movies of all time. I would I would be in that camp. I think it was phenomenal. Um that this version of Peter Parker was a drastic change of the Peter Parker that we have come to know and expect. He was a has been basically a washed up, um, a little older, out of shape Spider Man. Um and he had some things going on that were devastating to him that kinda made him go off the rails and throughout the movie he mentored and, and helped Miles kind of uh, figure out his powers and maneuver through the world, which I really love this take of him and how they portrayed him. Uh, he was uh, not what we come to expect, like I said, and and Miles really needed somebody to teach him the ropes, being that the Peter Parker in his universe had uh, unfortunately passed away due to Kingpin, which was an interesting scene as well. It, it gets you right out of the gate into an emotional state of like, damn, what's going to happen next? Um, so I really enjoyed uh, uh, the whole dynamic between Miles and uh, Peter B. Parker is what the name was uh, in the movie. So I don't think we'll see him again in this next movie coming up, but uh, maybe we'll see him again in the future. If not, uh, I'd highly suggest you guys pick up this pop because uh, it'll probably be the only Peter Parker we get. So, uh, let's get right into an outer box look of Peter Parker. And here we have an outer box look at that Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse uh, movie in the traditional red and blue colorway. Um, and you can never go wrong with the uh, classic red and blue Spider-Man. And the mold is actually, the spider webbing is actually occluded in the mold you can see it on the feet and just all the uh red parts of the funko you see um the spider webbing actually being built into it so you don't have to worry about any uh de deco paint jobs or anything like that rubbing off or or just wearing out over time um i, I really oh yeah you see the fat uh spider logo on the back and the uh, more traditional or the the skinnier regular spider on the front um you see those white eyes with the black outline on them um which you come to expect from uh your peter parkers pretty much uh like i was going to say you i loved how they portrayed this peter parker in this movie he actually was a little out of shape and overweight uh in the movie but they didn't really portray that in the Funko I guess that would be kind of hard to add all those little details in the movie but he played a vital role in his movie and uh, I really liked a different take on Peter so uh, the waves from across the Spider-Verse that they have revealed to us I have not seen any type of uh, Peter Parker in the trailers or in the waves so uh, I don't think we're going to get a Peter Parker in the new movie so um, if you guys have any interest in the uh, the Spider Verse Mar Miles Morales Spider Verse Peter Parker's, this will probably be the only ones we get for for now. Um, I assume they're going to make quite a few movies, uh, and maybe we'll see him again. Maybe we won't. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, you guys have your Peter Parker and um, enjoy it. Uh, one complaint about this: the actual stand. And the Funko actually detached, but they easily go back in. So that's my only complaint. But let's get right into a, a comparison shot. And here we have a comparison shot of the 90s animated uh, Peter Parker on the left and the Spider-Verse Peter Parker on the right. Um, pretty much the same uh, type of design overall, but a little bit different. As you guys can see, the red chest piece on the into the spider verse is a little more narrow and the 90s is uh the 90s animated show is a little wider um the blues are a little different 
Uh, but that's really the only difference. The eyes have a little bit different design, and of course, they're in a different pose. Um, but overall, I figured this would be a good comparison of how much, uh, how how uh, traditional the Into the Spider Verse pop actually looked. Um, a straight uh, a straight up Peter Parker, tradi- uh, um, prototypical. Um, suit the only difference is like i was saying he was out of shape which if they could have portrayed that then that would have made him stand out just a little bit more but uh i don't i'm not complaining about that you you who who can complain about spider-man looking like he's in shape as far as funko's go so um with that being said uh like subscribe tune in appreciate you guys for watching um i'm really excited about the uh into the spider-verse movie which will be out I believe over the summer so if you guys have any interest it's not too far away we are in the month of March so not too far away uh and they did I love the animation style and it's very unique stands out and I know a lot of people complained about it initially but I think it's uh very dope and and a lot of people came around to it so um appreciate you guys for watching uh pop principal more pops to come